Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel of Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. So through this channel, I'm providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategic or compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades. Each and every return of 3.5%, it's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the SEC charges against Andrew Left, who is one of the short sellers who could be potentially facing prison time. We're also going to be looking at MMTLP and the question, uh, will the shorts cover after the S1 is approved? And uh, we're also going to be doing a review of the weekly watch listing, including an update on Tixamo SERV, which has been having a tremendous run. And uh, also sharing with you details of potential uh, stocks this week, which could be huge. And um, before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the markets. First headline here from... Bloomberg and the question here is the Fed behind bond traders bet on big rate cuts just in case uh, and uh, it is a huge week uh, coming up uh, for the markets and uh, from market watch here we can see the Fed's next move could seal the fate of tech stocks and small caps so rate cut isn't expected in the coming week but the Fed could signal if small caps can keep up with regards to the winning streak so let's have a look at key uh, economic data this week and the, and the dates that we are particularly looking at so well, the ones I'm particularly interested in is Wednesday the FE the Fed uh, rate decision and also jobless claims on Thursday should also be huge and uh, the other thing I'd like to share with you is probably in my opinion the biggest week so far in the market for earnings if you have a look here uh, we have some huge huge stocks uh, calling for earnings and the ones that we will be looking at include Apple, Exxon, AMD, Meta, Arm, Intel, we also have Amazon, uh, McDonald's, Microsoft, and also Boeing, as well as SoFi. So a uh, huge, huge week here for earnings. Let's now have a look at news with regard to the short seller Andrew Left. And uh, from Yahoo Finance, we can see the headline short sellers are feeling the heat after the US is charging Andrew Left with fraud. So huge, huge uh, announcement here from the SEC. However, many people still think they are only going after the small fish and from investors turf we can see here that he could potentially be get, facing five years in prison for making false statements while uh, Ken Griffin of Citadel lied under oath to the House Committee on Financial Services and has not yet been indicted I wonder why and additionally a petition to the US government requesting a total ban on Citadel and an investigation for fraud against Griffin has reached in excess of 21,000 signatures following an investigation by investor turf so go ahead and add your signature on that uh, if you feel you wish to do so and uh, finally uh, post here from Scott who's posted uh, with regard to MMTLP and other stocks as well and uh, he's stating here the first ballot hall of fame is, a report is from a reporting of Kirsten Kristen Shaughnessy and that is with regard to Ken Griffin who is inching inevitably towards a new date with the Department of Justice and the SEC and what Kristen has stated is that seven market makers including Citadel and Virtue are waiting to see if Northwest by uh, uh, Therapeutics can move ahead with its lawsuit and force them into discovery. So remember, this is a, a bio stock that has a very promising brain can, uh, potential brain cancer vaccine, which is being uh, behind the scenes uh, allegedly facing market manipulation and short attacks and this is something that has been ongoing for a while uh, and it does um, it is quite staggering that short sellers would even attack a company trying to cure brain cancer and that really t tells you how much of a problem uh, it is with regard to these uh, companies. I'd like to now give a shout out here to Dustin Fortner who's posted with regard to MMTLP and he stated here that the uh, media and also uh, the Biden administration as well as the Wall Street regulators are potentially holding uh, active duty and veterans of MMTLP investment hostage. So there was um, an interview here so go ahead and check his interview out and uh, what Jared has posted here is uh, this is what the MMTLP media team looks like the two best people to explain the situation to the masses so in terms of a reaction here from um, Tim he's posted here thank you for the two guests 
uh, your expert appearance and gracious host um, was there to help highlight and reveal the facts surrounding the close to 600, 600 days of the MMTLP fiasco and cover-up. Uh, so huge thank you here for Dustin as well as uh, the two guests in terms of continuing to follow this up as investors are still hurting. So we do need answers. We also need a fair resolution and the MMTLP investors certainly are being held hostage by um, Wall Street and the regulators and politicians. And finally, in response to Dustin's post, I've also gonna give a shout out here to S1 Gray, who's posted, uh, you will be able to buy shares to cover the excessive short position. He's referring to one of the alleged shorts here, directly from Nextbridge Hydrocarbons, once the S1 is through, and at the moment the S1 is not improved. And I think this, in my experience, is one of the longest S1s that uh, is not yet approved that I certainly have seen uh, so far in the markets and uh, we are still not heard anything uh, especially from the SEC or the company that the amendments have been made and uh, we are still waiting after after an excessively long time so let's see if this does develop into approval. Finally, let's finish off by giving a shout out to the weekly watch list in terms of the previous week. Some of the stocks that we called out were ASTS and that was up in excess of 44% on the week. So congratulations to everybody who got into ASTS. And in the previous, some of the previous videos, I have been covering ticker symbol SERV. So go ahead and check those videos out. And I, I am also able to share with you that SERV is also again on watch. However, we have added a significant uh, amount of caution on that. It has uh, been giving returns of in excess of 106% just in the previous week alone, and it's up quite staggeringly uh, up over the previous month as well. So it's also up 17.3% on the previous week. So this is a stock that is extremely volatile does need to be traded with care. So go ahead and check out further details about due diligence on SRV. HE was another call. That was up 20% uh, in the previous week after Monday's dip. APPN, that was also up 7% on the week. VZ, that was up 3.2% on the week after Monday's dip. KITS was up 11.5% on the week. So again, good call there. REAX, that closed level on the week. Uh, EDAP, that was down 7.5% on the week. So not all calls are successful, but if you would like to get the next weekly watches, which has now been made available to uh, the Discord members live in the Discord, and this is obviously prior to trading on the Monday, so details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.